there's probably only two songs that you know from Jimmy Driftwood, and one, of course, is Tennessee Stud. Yeah. Tennessee Stud, long and lean, color of the sun, and his eyes are green. And, of course, the Battle of New Orleans. Now, I wanted to do this for you, George, because you were oh, you're telling me that you played at a country western club. Yeah. Now, this is a story that every time that I'd visit with Jimmy Driftwood down in Timbo, Arkansas, that he would tell. You know, he was like any old timer. You know, you go to visit him, and they tell you a story that they already told you. And you have to act surprised like you never heard it before. <laughs> well, this is with Jimmy. We go in there, you have a nice little, uh, uh, little table in the kitchen covered over with that checkerboard tablecloth. Cleta would be over there, she'd put his wife be pouring out the coffee, and, and Jimmy would start talking. Now, when Jimmy was talking, he. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. And he'd get excited and he'd start like cackling like this and then before you know it, he'd, he'd slap his leg like this. <laughs> and then if you didn't watch out, he'd be slapping you on the leg when you weren't watching. Boom! Like this. So you have to be careful when you're sitting with Jimmy. So this is the way that Jimmy used to tell the story. It goes like this. <laughs> well, you know, it was back in around 1958. Oh, I was traveling all over the world back then, you know. I got invited over there to England to play at a country western club. <laughs> and, and when I got there, all the men they had on cowboy hats, they had holsters with guns in it. Well, I'm from the Ozarks, and I figure, well, we don't bring <laughs> guns into the auditorium, but it's a different country. They might have different customs, you never know. So I decided I'd start singing my song. I said, now I'm going to sing you my famous song, The Battle of New Orleans. Well, the biggest guy in the place, he stood up. He said, well, what do you think we paid you to come here for, Jimmy? Well, I didn't hesitate. I started to sing. Well, in 1814, we took a little trip. Long term Jackson, I don't know how to sit. We took a little bit, and we took a little bit. And we took a little bit, and we took a little bit. And we took a little bit, and we took a little now when I got to that course, will they fired their guns? <laughs> Guess what? They reached in their holsters, pulled out their revolvers, boom, 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 firing their guns. Every time I said fire their guns, they fired their guns. When I got done with the song, I couldn't see the back of the room for all the gun smoke. <laughs> Fired our guns in 